Hi, my name is Harriet Gigi Zeller, and I belong to Hear Sherry Tequila. People have asked me, why do I do what I do? Meaning, devote myself to volunteering to many organizations, especially Sherry Tequila. My answer, I give back for all of my blessings, my family, my health, my friends, my life. I live by the saying, one receives so much more giving than receiving. I've made so many friends and adopted special families that have filled my life with so many blessings. And now why I love Israel. In 1980, I descended off the plane in Israel to see a lush green paradise and was greeted with open arms and an incredible welcome to our homeland. Our country, where our forefathers walked these same lands. A vibrant democracy dedicated to the equality of all of its citizens. A place to be proud of, to love and to protect. Yes, to protect. We must and we will make a difference by our efforts to stop the anti-Semitic and anti-Israeli torture of our homeland. Israel serves as a refuge for Jews everywhere. May our love of Israel unite rather than divide us. Some of what I love about Israel, from food to technology to diversity to beaches. One, the National Geographic named Tel Aviv one of the top 10 beach cities in the world. The rewalked robotic exoskeleton system allowing people to walk again. Floating in the Dead Sea, the lowest place between sea level and earth, on earth. Liquid gold, chocolate in a bag. Don't you love it? We gave the world the AOL Instant Messenger. Invented the first ever flash drive. World Happiness Report rated Israel the 11th happiest country in the world. The famous Shashuka breakfast, so delicious. Saving innocent human lives, not only do the Israeli hospitals treat Israelis, but just as many Arabs. At the start of the war this year, the IDF opened a temporary hospital for the Palestinians on the Israeli side of the Ezra's crossing, even as terrorists were firing rockets at Israel. This was also done on the Syrian border, helping refugees with life-saving treatment. What other country does this? Our proud servicemen and women with diverse backgrounds enable Israel to remain an independent, strong, and sovereign country. The Western Wall, the holiest site in all of Judaism, all that is left of the sec Second Temple. The Baha'i Gardens in the northern city of Haifa is home to one of the most stunning sites in all of Israel. Israel is the only country in the world that entered the 21st century with a net gain in its number of trees. We are the startup nation. The story of Israeli's economic miracle and the miracle of developing defense systems to protect itself from rocket attacks, especially the Iron Dome, which has a success rate of 90% of shooting down rockets aimed at Israel, saving thousands of lives. Israeli humanitarian never stops, including delivering supplies into Gaza. The only time it stops is during rocket attacks. Yet we are ostracized by the UN and the world over. Shame on them. Masada, one of Israel's tourist attractions, home to the legendary story of the Roman siege. Israel shows the spirit of coexistence. Israel's Declaration of Independence, signed on May 14, 1948, declared that the new state will ensure complete equality of social and political rights to all of its inhabitants, irrespective of religion, race, or sex. It guarantees freedom of religious conscience, language, education, and culture. The Israeli marketplace where I shopped with my granddaughter, Darcy, for Shabbat food, which we then went home to her apartment and made Shabbat dinner for all of the kids who were attending Hebrew University. That was a special blessing. A 
true miracle is that the state of Israel was born after thousands of years in exile, allowing the Jewish people to rise from the ashes of the Holocaust to establish the modern state. Fortunately for the Jews of Russia and Europe, it was and still is a safe haven, a safe place to go. Creativity is intelligence having fun, said Albert Einstein. Behind every great Israeli invention, every great artist, every great company is the heart and soul of the startup nation, our creative spirit. It's what allowed us to make the desert bloom in 1948 and it what drives us forward in the 21st century. In conclusion, Israel is the land of milk and honey. We are the size of New Jersey, where I'm from, but a small, vibrant democracy, strong, confident, proud, and determined. And as Rabbi David always says, I am proud to be a Jew and to know that I stand more proud because we have a homeland called Israel. Wishing you all a happy, safe holiday. May there be peace all over the world and especially in our beloved Israel. Thank you.